It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Lobo Day. Now, Lobo Day is the worst day in human history because that means I am drawing Lobo, the character from DC Comics. And of course, with all apologies to uh, all you Lobo fans out there, uh, I hate Lobo. And I've never been a fan. Uh, Lobo came along, I think I was just a little too old for Lobo by the time he came along. Uh, and believe it or not, I was there very early on for Lobo. Um, Although I didn't catch him from his very first appearance. Uh, Lobo first started out in the pages of uh, a, uh, a DC comic series called The Omega Men. Um, which was kind of a sci-fi-ish superhero thing. Um, and I think that was a more sedate, different Lobo than uh, what we would see of the character later on. Uh, when I first encountered Lobo, uh, he was uh, he, he was putting in an appearance in uh, the Justice League book, and this was the this was the funny Justice League from the the nineteen eighties, the, the Keith Giffen Justice League, uh, which makes sense because uh, Lobo was a Keith Giffen creation, um, and that and. Believe it or not, in that first appearance, he actually was okay with uh, with Lobo. I, th I thought he was pretty cool. But then, like a lot of the the popular characters of the 80s, he wouldn't go away. They kept bringing him back and bringing him back. And by the way, we could blame Lobo Day on one Armand Bodner. And I hope he's uh, he's he's watching. Uh, Armand is one of my students from the Joe Kubert School, uh, and Armand is actually uh, and just about to start his third and final year at the Kubert School, and uh, he is a very talented young man. One of our most promising prospects of our graduating year this year. Don't tell him I said so, though. It'll, it'll go right to his head. So uh, he, he wanted me to draw Lobo. And, and Armin, by the way, is also a very loyal fan of the channel, a very loyal subscriber. And he attends a lot of our uh, 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 live premieres. He's in the, the live chat. Uh, so Lobo's got a stogam. I'm watching my Lobo reference, uh, which is, you know, whatever I called up on, on Google over here. Um, I want to make a happier Lobo than this. He, whatever else, Lobo always appears to be having a good time. So I want to I want to keep that in there. Um, so, yeah, Armand usually is there in our live uh chats for the premieres so um i'm going to be very disappointed if he's not there for this one uh and i may just have to burn this if he if he doesn't show up for this so uh i, I hope he's there and i hope he i hope he i hope he digs this lobo um believe it or not no i guess it shouldn't be a surprise to anybody uh this is my second lobo um i drew a lobo as a private commission once and uh, if you want to see it it's up on my website uh, Fernando Ruiz everybody.com if you go there look at uh, under my sketchbook it's in there somewhere um, and I'll be honest that Lobo I didn't hate drawing him um, uh, it, it really, you know, I'm not a big fan of this design. Basically, he's just like some white-skinned, angry biker dude with uh, chains and, and freaky clown hair. 
and kiss makeup, it looks like. Um, but aside from just being a lame character, a really lame one-dimensional joke, uh, one of the worst things about Lobo is, well, two things. Two of my least, least uh, enjoyable things to draw are chains. And Lobo, of course, he's wrapped one hand in chains here. Chains and motorcycles. And Lobo, of course, he wears chains and he flies through space in a, in a motorcycle, which I'm sure some very low IQ people out there think that's cool. My apologies to, to low IQ people. It, it's okay. I, I like a lot of stupid things too. So don't don't be don't feel bad if you if you're if you're a big Lobo fan and you say and you're sitting there watching this and you're saying, oh man, why is he why is he bashing my favorite character? Um, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Someday you'll learn how to read and you'll uh, you'll move on to better things. Um, but hey, you know, like I said, I, I like stupid things too. Um, and I think I think everybody in comics has, as you know, you have to have a few things that um, nobody else could probably stand. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I gotta move Lobo along here because the clock is gonna grab me. So I kind of you've seen me block out big chunks of of Lobo here. Uh, I've kind of sketched in where I want. This is going to be chains wrapping around his his uh, uh, wrist there. Uh, he also has these big, what are these things? Like these big skull faces that wrap around his knees. Oh boy. Um, you know, Lobo is one of those characters too who just seems to be different every time he's drawn. Um, I'm looking at like the, the most repeated details and he's got these these knee pads uh, and the knee pads have uh, they've got stars on them all right they've got stars on them and then they have kind of like these skull faces on them and I'm gonna suggest those and I may go in and, and kind of polish them up this is definitely going to be one of those where the clock is going to grab me and I won't I won't really be able to take Lobo across the finish line. So certainly keep tabs on uh, my social media and uh, you'll see the the more finished, the finished Lobo um, when I post him. Um, unless I am, as I am now, utterly ashamed of myself for drawing this, this piece of cultural pornography. Uh, okay, let's, so he's got this, this belt, got the little skull guy on his belt, I remember that from last time. Now, what really puts the Lobo in Lobo is this uh, faux kiss makeup that he seems to have. Um, I don't know if that's actually makeup or uh, if this is just um, typical or a trait of the the spe of Lobo's native species, um, I don't know if there's really any any answer that wins here. Um, so Lobo, you know, actually. When I when I think of Lobo, he reminds me of another another Keith Giffen creation. Um, ironically enough, and that was Ambush Bug. Now I think Ambush Bug is nowhere today, but in the in the eighties, in the mid eighties, Ambush Bug became a little bit of a hot property for uh, for DC, and Lobo has his stogie. And I'm certainly not going to take his stogie away from him. I don't mind characters who smoke. I don't like this this purification of eliminating all smokers from from fiction. So, Ambush Bug first appeared in Superman. He he was sort of not exactly a Superman villain, although he he I guess he was trying to fill that role early on. 
but he was um, more of a Superman pest, kind of in the way that Mixia's Pitalik is. Ambush Bug would show up, and, and he would just really bother Superman a lot. Um, but he was, he was initially, at least, a semi-legitimate villain. You know, he, he was out to do stuff, and, you know, he had a purpose, and, and it was a real, honest-to-God purpose. So the early Ambush Bug appearances, especially an appearance in um, DC Comics Presents, I'm thinking it was issue number 55, for you new school people, DC Comics Presents was, that was the Marvel team-up for DC Comics. That was the, the their team-up book where every issue was Superman teaming up with another uh, character. Um, sometimes teams of characters. So I, in issue number 55, uh, I believe Superman and the Legion of Substitute Heroes, another favorite of mine, would team up and they would face off against Ambush Bug. And that was a great story. It, it was funny, um, but you still had the adventure aspect to, to it. Um, and that, you know, that really made me love Ambush Bug. Um, but from there, Ambush Bug, first of all, he just kept coming back over and over. If there's one thing that'll put me off a character, it's overexposure especially when they're supposed to be villains. Because after a while, one of the Superman books, I think it was Action Comics, just became The Adventures of Superman and Ambush Bug. And who the hell wants to read that? And then from there, Ambush Bug um, went on to star in a bunch of miniseries. DC just kept giving them miniseries over and over. Um, and they were just so over the top, I, I just couldn't get into them. Um, there needs to be some, some aspect, some relatable aspect to, to Ambush Bug. And if it's all just jokes, I, I just, I just tune out. I don't mind some humor as long as the adventure is what, what takes precedence. Um, and that was actually my issue with, um, the humorous Justice League, which I enjoyed for its first six issues. And then it just became a joke book. And even worse, it was like a very insidery, uh, insidery running gag sort of thing where I always wondered, like anyone who jumped into Justice League with like the, the 30th issue, like did that make sense to anybody? Wasn't it just like, how, how did you understand what was going on? By that point, it was all Gnort and Elrond and Manga Can and, Maybe even General Glory was around by that point. And these are all names nobody's probably understanding because I'm talking, I'm, I'm rambling about a 30-year-old book. Uh, all right, so Lobo is not a real big design champion here. He's got a, his jacket, maybe a dirty t-shirt. He does have a kind of a massive body, which I'm trying to give him here. Uh... Maybe make the shirt, the jacket a little bit more open. He's going to have this arm coming out. And I want this to be coming back. And maybe here he could be holding. Looks like he holds some kind of hook on a chain. Uh, more chains. It only gets better. All right. The clock is almost grabbing me. So like I said, please follow me on social media so you can see um, my, uh, my, my finished or close to finished Lobo. Um, please let me know what you think. If you, uh, if you, did I do Lobo justice? Is this a horrible Lobo? Should I stay away from Lobo? Let me know. Let me know what you think. And if there are other characters you want to you want to torture me with, like Armand did, Armand, I'm going to get you for this. Um, just let me know in the in the uh, in the comments below. Any questions, criticisms? Let me hear it all. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for listening to me. Keep coming back. Click like, subscribe, and as always, keep drawing, everybody. Keep drawing. Bye bye.